so today we're going to be having a book talk, book review thing. My first one, the book I just finished, and that's To Win Our Heart by Karen Wittemeyer. This is a Christian book, and it's historical fiction, and it's absolutely amazing. So this book takes place back in 1800s Texas, and it's about these two characters, Levi and Eden. Levi has just got out of jail, and he's been in there for a while, and he's trying to have a new life and new start, and he doesn't want to go back to his old ways, which is like fighting and drinking and all that horrible stuff. He doesn't want to go in his old ways, and he made a vow. He's like, okay, I'm not going to fight again. So now he's here in this new town, and he's trying to basically become a new person. Then you have Eden Spencer. Eden Spencer is the daughter of the owner of the town, Spencer, and she owns a library where she basically reads and she gets other people to get, read, get books and stuff like a library would do, and she reads to these children, which she absolutely enjoys that. Then one day they cross paths and Levi wants to become the new blacksmith of Spencer. So. Eden gives him the job, and the story goes from there, and it's really interesting because Eden's a very judgmental character, and you get to see her find out more things about him and try not, like, not to judge him, and know that God accepts him for who he is, and that she has to accept him for that. And so it's a really good book. I highly recommend it. Originally I was going to give it four stars, but then I ended up giving it five stars because of the ending. Let me just say that ending was just... The best! Oh my gosh, I loved it so much. So if you have not read this book, I suggest you leave now, but you can come back after and discuss it. So at the beginning of this book, I have to say my favorite part of this entire book was at the beginning when Levi sees Eden's library. He's like, oh, maybe I'll go in there and check it out. And then she goes and gets a book that he just remembered and stuff like that. And then... Eden's like, oh crap, I can't have him here all the time. It's just gonna bring up this reputation and stuff. I, I, I gotta send him out. So she's just like, yeah, uh, I have this policy. People are blue in town. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't let them out books. It's just, what, it has to be like two weeks and then uh, I'll give you the book. He's like, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I loved that part so much. It's like, epic fail right there. She just failed. I'm like, Congratulations, Eden. Congratulations. Uh, at the beginning, I don't. I liked Eden's character a little bit, but I didn't like her as much in the beginning. I liked her more towards the end when she wasn't as judgmental anymore. She was more interesting then. I liked her better because she wasn't as judgmental, and she was just such a better character. Okay, I have to mention this thing. So, if you didn't know, I love this series called the Dune series. It's one of my favorite series of all time, and in this series, there live in Scotland and there's a guy named Duncan he's the love interest in the book and he's Scottish and in this book there was a guy named Duncan and he was Scottish so I was like oh my gosh it's Duncan McRae it wasn't but I was like Duncan like back in the 1800s it seriously sounded so much like him and I'm like oh my gosh it's Duncan I was screaming I remember when I read that and then he was more in the book and I was so happy and then he ended up with Chloe. Sad thing is I wish her name, kind of wish Chloe's name was McKenna instead of Chloe because I would have laughed so hard if her name was McKenna. You know, I would have laughed. Oh, that would have been hilarious. Let's actually talk about Chloe. Chloe's character, I don't know why, but I didn't want her living with Eden for some reason in the beginning. I don't know why I wanted that, but I don't know. I didn't like Chloe as much in the beginning, but then once we got to know her a bit better, I really enjoyed her character. She was such a sweet girl. And she was like two years older than me. But she was such a sweet girl. I loved Chloe a lot. She is one of my favorite characters. And I love how Duncan and her got together. That was so cute. Oh, their story. I want there to be like another separate book that's like a spin-off book to this one. And it's about Chloe and Duncan falling in love. And I'd be I would read that. I'd love reading that. I'd be so happy. And then I just like like Scottish accents, and I'd just be fangirling like crazy. That proposal though, that was, oh, that was the cutest proposal I've ever seen in any book. I have to say, that was the cutest one. How he's just like, hey, I wanted to give you something. He's like, oh, what is it? And she's just like, I'm, I'm gonna give you a last name. Oh, 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 that was so cute.
I also loved the way that Levi proposed to Eden. That was so adorable. And you knew it was going to happen. He had been planning it for a while. You knew it was going to come. It was going to happen. You knew. And I was just like so happy. I was like, oh, so cute. I love that part when uh, they were just like, about to get to propose. And I was like so excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to propose. It's going to propose to her. It's finally coming. I got more chapters so I can enjoy them together and stuff. Yeah, no. <laughs> not what happened at all but I didn't even mind it that much because then Conrad came and he came and he's just like yeah uh, um you gotta come with me and I'm just like uh oh it's gonna be interesting I was excited already and then when I was reading this I was just like oh crap and I think out of all the endings like climax kind of endings things out of all the ones I've ever read this is definitely my all-time favorite ending of any book Ever. I definitely like Karen Wodemeyer's other books, The Short Star Bride. I read that one before. That was the first book I read by her, and this is the second one I read by her. And I definitely liked that one more. I just like the premise and stuff more of that one. But it was really cool because I just came back from a youth conference, and basically what we talked about was ta becoming a new person and coming back and then coming to read this. It was perfect because Levi was trying to become a new person as well, and he's trying to put his past behind him. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. We were just talking about this. I loved the end. Okay, the end. Even end, end, end. The epilogue when Eden is like, okay, come on, we're gonna go to that train station now. And he's like, why are we going here? I'll go with you, but why? And he's just like, just, I got you something, okay? I got you something. Early wedding present, surprise. And he's like, oh, okay. And then. He's just like looking, he's like, okay, uh, Eden, what, what are you getting me? And then his parents walk out, and I thought that was so perfect. Oh, that was so cool seeing his mom. He's just like, I missed you so much. And then there was his dad, I think he was close to crying and stuff like that. And he was just, and like, Levi was crying. He was just like, Dad, I'm sorry. And I think, um, just like an inference, like what would happen after even longer that um they would have reunited and I feel like they would have owned the black shop miss shop together and they would have done stuff there together I feel like that would have been a cool father son thing in the future I feel like that's what's gonna happen I mean because we don't know what happens next but I feel like that's what's gonna happen so overall I give this book five out of five stars uh 95 percent so those are my thoughts and opinions on the book I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time